Hi, my loves. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I hope that you are having a beautiful and an amazing day. This is a timeless collective reading for Scorpio. <laughs> Scorpio, welcome. If you are new, welcome back if you are returning. So this is a timeless collective reading for the sign of Scorpio. You can have Scorpio anywhere in your chart. So, storm warning is here, door to personal healing. I didn't even show for these cards. I just pulled them, but this makes perfect sense. Happy family. Look at that third eye. See? What's this? Sixth chakra? Archangel Metatron. Metatron. Everything here was already written. Everything has been written and recorded. So, you're going to have victory here. I did a reading a few days when I was saying some of you, these unions, like they're destined. It has to happen this lifetime. There, there is no exceptions. So, if you or your person have been avoiding this, you're going to be kicked into gear. You're, got, you're pretty much going to be forced into an alignment. And this is the reason also why some of the attacks are about to be very, very extreme. Because, of course, the devil, the enemy, is going to keep trying to force you and someone apart or to do everything to make sure that you don't meet a person but this can't be stopped. So just prepare yourself because I feel that something here that's taking place is going to be very extreme. It's going to bring you the ultimate wish fulfillment, but you, you brace for impact, okay? <laughs> because I feel like it's about to get a little bit wild, okay? I don't even know what um, deck to use, honestly. I'm going to use this shamanic healing deck. A lot of throat chakra activation, so you definitely could be um, experiencing a lot of um, like clearing of your throat, feeling like you know there's drainage in the back of your throat. That um, some of you, you know, if if you have met your person for sure, if they're not communicating with you, they're gonna for sure be reaching out soon. So at the bottom of the deck, we have it's all good. November eighteenth may be of significance joy see there is joy coming okay teaching wow reunion of souls <laughs> anger letting go this is why i've been talking about um forgiveness so much as well because for some of you especially if you know who your person is and if there has been issues or obstacles that you face in that connection this is not the time for you to not release any of your anger or resentment towards this person or anything that has happened, even if you don't end up in a relationship with this person. This is kind of one of those things. If you are connected to this person, if they fall, you fall. So don't don't hurt yourself by refusing to help them. And I'm not saying do anything to go out of your way. I'm saying be a being of love and light, healing. And you will always help that person that you're connected to by simply just helping yourself. Okay. Ancient wisdom. Transformation. Yeah. The car still came out. It's all good. And I'm integration. Yeah. There is um a, a spiritual like energetic integration that's happening between you and someone. You're definitely going to, you may be experiencing like heart palpitation soon. Heart chakra awakening in third eye for sure. <clears throat> Ancient wisdom, it's all good. And then joy is here with integration. Creativity, yeah. Everything is being integrated so that you and this person can like come together to create this happy family life. I feel like you've been holding your heart for this person or they hope that you would hold your heart. Okay. But this person, they hadn't had like an ego death or their heart chakra activation just yet. So it, it was almost impossible for you to come together in a union, especially the type of union where you could have um, a relationship and, and a family here in the 3D. A lot of you though, if, especially if you haven't met this person, you've been building your life with this person already in the 5D. So it's going to be very intense. That's why I've been saying for some of you, if you haven't met this person, maybe you can sense them in your dreams. When you do meet them, you will know them instantly. 
you will know them. Because there's no way you'll be able to not recognize their energy. That's the reason why their energy is, is integrating with yours now. So for a lot of people who've been dealing with like the false flames or the counterfeits or whatever title you may want to give to it, that's about to be eclipsed out. You're going to soon know exactly who your person is. There's just, there's not going to be any more delays, no more deception. And the karmic energies are being completely eliminated. Um, let's see. This is really good. Oh, look at that. <laughs> the Empress and the Four of Wands. What I tell you, Union, you've manifested this. You're creating this. There's a lot to celebrate, Divine Feminine. There's a lot to celebrate. If you can just get through this time, I feel like it's gonna get a little wild here, but this person is rushed. Someone is rushing in towards you, but they're they're gonna experience some type of download. Okay, um, you know, Scorpio season, towers, endings, and new beginnings. The moon, there's secrets coming out about different things. No more illusions. People are going to be seen clearly. All right. Friends, family, that's what I'm saying right now. You may feel like you need to kind of go in a cocoon and that's okay. Because just like the reading I just did, some of these karmic energies, this is like anyone in your life that has ever been with you, wanted to be with you, has ever had even the, the slightest little ounce of, of jealousy, envy, or anything towards you. They're going to be like raging bulls right now. Because you're so close to the finish line. So you're going to have to protect yourself at all costs. And it's nothing personal. Because you can laugh and talk with a person all day. But their spirit may not like you. Okay. You cannot, you know, rid everyone out of your life. But in times like this, when the energy, when the, the veil is so thin and your energy, you're so sensitive, you need to protect yourself. Because the people who are who are closest to you will find themselves wanting to attack you. They don't they don't see what they're doing. But you're gonna have to be discerning right now to not allow that. The the first card out, the tower. I'm telling you. And here the first card out was a storm warning. Something is about to happen. But it's all good. That even that card, yeah, it's all good. Whatever this is, it is all good. This, don't don't look for like a bad tower. Not for you anyway. I feel like you have these karmic energies around you, especially if they won't stop bothering you. They can look forward to some, some extreme karma. But for you, whatever is happening, it's going to be great. It really is. Seven of Pentacles. Temperance. There we go. See? Someone here is coming. Wow. And the Emperor. Y'all, I'm telling you, I something was just like, figure out what this exchange and gifts is. And I just like got this message. I'm telling the cards are saying everything I just said. And the judgment card is here. This is you ascending, having a wake up call. And then look, the hermit, the death card. What did I just say? If you need to go within, do it. There's a lot of death, rebirth, transformation happening around you. These are times, you know, when, when it gets like this, even for myself personally, I stay away from people because <laughs> I'm one of those people, I like to have a lot of grace for people um, because I am such a highly sensitive empath. Um, I know that when I'm really sensitive, I know that if I go to stores or I go around friends, family, or anything else, they are probably experiencing things as well, but they they don't have the awareness that I have, so they don't know. So they will lash out and do certain things. I know why they're doing it. They don't know why they're doing it, and they don't recognize when they're doing things to me, so I'll just stay out of the way. I would recommend, <laughs> I would recommend that you guys do the same because some people, they're about to start feeling things, seeing things, hearing things, their beliefs are going to be challenged. There's a lot of transformation coming and people are, you're going to see 
the worst in some people. But the tower is here with the seven of pentacles and the temperance. Again, this right here is something being pulled up by the roots. It's investing in something. The tower with the seven of pentacles is also saying that something here, a foundation is being completely uprooted. Like the divine is coming in and ripping out anything that is not going to produce. Something that is going to be fruitful and abundant. You have now the integration with a masculine. You have a masculine here who is coming into this awareness and going through an awakening. This is a masculine here who may have power, structure, um, resources and all. But this person now is being forced to go more to the light, to become a bit more spiritual. This is someone here who, you know, they play chess, not checkers, like in this card. But with the temperance, this person is realizing that they are going to have to start finding a way to balance things in their life. They have no choice because you've already grown and ascended. This is a wake-up call for this masculine. But there is nothing you can do. It kind of has to be all hands off. Like, you can't do or say much. Some of you, you don't even know this masculine yet. You just need to go within and do your soul searching and introspection and continue working on healing. This is a time for you to do your spiritual baths, journal, and all of that, and just allow this death and rebirth to actually happen. You don't have to do anything, but take care of yourself. Yeah, six of wands. Victory and success is yours. Like I said, this tower is a good tower. You don't have to feel like you're missing an opportunity. There's no need for you to be discontent or, or bored or, or in any type of grief or regret. Like, no. Seven of pentacles. Seven of wands protect your energy. Be careful about what you invest in. If you know you're not going to receive a return on your investment, don't invest in it. Be very conservative with your energy. The queen of pentacles is here with the temperance. Yeah, you have to be very grounded while this masculine goes through this transformation because you're going to be integrating with this masculine energetically. See, one of you is, is going to have to stay grounded because I feel like this masculine is about to go up to like the 7D because he, he has to quickly like catch up to where you are. This masculine has been someone in the world and of the world. He's becoming more spiritual. You've already had your spiritual ascension. So now you have to be grounded. So you you, you kind of have to switch right now. They have You have to become more practical. They have to become more spiritual. <laughs> Look at that. King of Wands falling right under the emperor. He's ready. He or she. They're ready. They're taking action. They have to go through this ascension because spirit, the ancestors, the gods, they have to give this person the, the torch. They're about to, this is an awakening. They have to be given the torch. As the twin, they, they need the torch before they can come to you. Not just the resources, they need the fire. They got to have the flame. For a lot of you, this person, they haven't had the flame because they they haven't been working on anything spiritual. They haven't been healing. The king of pentacles with the wheel, this person, something is shifting and changing. This person now is, is going to come in wanting to be devoted. And I, for some of you, you've been waiting on this person for a while. Feeling like it will never happen, even if you haven't met this person yet. And I feel like right now you're at a crossroads. You're, you're kind of stuck in complacent. Like, do I move forward? Do I keep waiting on this person? Especially if you know them and you've been separated. This person is being forced to take action. Okay. But the moon card is here. Uh, again, continuing to go within. Seeing past all of the illusions. When you find out the truth about some of these illusions, it's going to stress you out. You may feel paranoid. You may feel fear, anxiety. But the Ten of Swords is here. It's saying, let it just play out because once you're done, the worst is over. 
page of wands. There's a brand new start here. Something to be very optimistic about. Wow, look at this. I just want you to know. Page of wands and then the hangman and the high priestess. This is a spiritual awakening that's taking place between you and this person. So whatever tower moment happens, whatever truths are revealed, okay, some of them could be hurtful. Hearts don't break evenly. Some relationships will end. Uh, family dynamics will be shaken to the core. There are some things that will happen, okay? But it's clearing the path for you to have exactly what you want, okay? A lot of psychic intuitive downloads with the high priestess being here and the queen of cups. Yeah, five of swords. This masculine, his head is about to be hurt because he's about to be bombarded with spiritual messages and downloads. He's not going to really know what to do with this. This is why energetically you have to stay grounded. Because when he comes to you, you, you will be able to embrace this person and let them know what has actually happened. This person is confused. This person is going to have a lot of, I'm hearing a lot of respect for you though, because by the time they make it to you and they know, they find out what you had to go through as the wounded warrior without any guidance at all, this is going to make this person really, really, really fall in love. They're going to know for sure. When they realize like, wow, you have to go through all of this on this spiritual journey, they're going to know you're the one. They know that now, but it's like your, your spiritual team, they're going to make sure that you and this person can move on to peaceful, calm waters because there's been a lot of confusion and illusions. Maybe someone here had a lot of options. Yeah, this could have had you feeling left out in the cold, devastated to some point of degree, but it forced you to go within and to heal yourself. And now you have the King of Cups, which will be the counterpart to the Queen of Cups. It's time now to manifest Yeah, look, this is having truth and clarity, having downloads that, yeah, victory, success. It's time to move forward, to team up and collaborate here. But there will be, of course, all is fair in love and war. And with war, there will, there will be casualties. All of this, the, you know, heartbreak and the pain and the suffering and the spiritual warfare, all of that stuff is preparing you to go into a time of celebration, connecting with your soul family. You know, nine of pentacles is here. Being very abundant, just having value be created in your life. This connection, teaming up and, and collaborating with this person is also going to bring about abundance. So you're going to go from the five of pentacles to the ace of pentacles. So if you've been left out in the cold, if there's been financial hardship, when you and this person come together to work together, that is where the gift comes from the divine. Because you will receive your spiritual inheritance as the reward for doing the work, closing the gap, doing the healing work. So if you've been in your head about things, you need to free yourself. Listen to some music. Cook yourself a good meal. Hang out with friends or family. I mean, be careful. But I'm, you know, or hang out with yourself. Because for a lot of you, if you've been in separation for some for someone or you've just been single for a long time, you might as well make the best of this time because you're not going to be single much longer. So in the last reading, I said eight days. A reading that I posted a few days ago, I was talking about 10 weeks. The readings lately have been giving me time, okay? Some of you are going to be meeting your person or reconnecting with your person very, very soon. In the next few weeks, you and this person could actually be making decisions to, I mean, be in a, an official exclusive relationship, if not moving towards marriage for some of you in like the next three to six months, But you have to work on self-mastery when it comes to the illusions, the confusion, the wounded inner child, any, any type of heartache, pain, or anything from the past. You have to move out of that. Because just like the reading that I just posted before this one, these entities and low vibrational like karmic energies that are being sent to you, 
as long as you have an open wound and it can smell that blood on you, these energetic vampires are going to suck you dry. You know, it's like if you jump if you jump in a in a body of water with blood, the shark is coming instantly. You have to clean these wounds up in order to protect yourself, and you protect your union by protecting yourself. For everyone, you're not you don't care about connecting with another person, and that's fine. But even coming into union with your own feminine and divine masculine energy. You have to master yourself. This is the time to really go within and work. Work hard on yourself. Whatever your craft is, your job, your business. Allow that to make you feel very liberated because it's the thing that's going to make you really be in this take charge masculine like energy to manifest the life that you've always wanted. Whether it's you by yourself or with someone else. And I'm telling you, once again, the number eight, this is going to move very, very fast. This is a lot of fire energy. So you can receive good news. You're going to receive good news from someone coming in, making you an offer of love. Yeah. I feel like for some of you, if you're still looking a lot, for things to be exposed, you don't have to. The truth is going to find you. I'm telling you, do not hold on. And even when the truth does come out about certain situations, be careful what you hold on to with the Four of Pentacles. You also are going to have to be mindful of the fact that your person is also going to be experiencing epiphanies, revelations, and finding out things. And if the two of you are exchanging energy, you're going to have to really watch and monitor your emotional state with the temperance. You're going to have to have some self-control and do things in moderation. You may start to feel a lot of emotions and they're not going to be your emotions. But if you think about being in a real partnership, a marriage with your divine counterpart, you're going to have to get used to sharing emotions. On a very, very transparent level, like you and this person, you may, this is not just a cue. Oh, we finish each other's sentences. The type of psychic, spiritual connection that you and this person will have, when you start to think about your own moods and everything else, you're always going to have to consider this person. You're tethered together. This is why spirit has been pushing forgiveness so much. And healing. Because when you join with this person, they're going to have battles that they fought. And when they feel things, you're going to feel it and vice versa. So you can expect something very, very good to come in for you. But you are going to have to keep your head on straight. You don't want to be cold, detached, and bitter. But you do need to make sure you don't show signs of weakness. There is a brand new passionate beginning coming here. You're walking away from things that don't serve you. And you're going towards your journey towards a fulfilling family. So your cycle of having baggage, being used and abused and carrying the baggage from your past, your past life, your family and all of that, that's over. You are manifesting something brand new. There is a romantic offer here. Wow. And it's strong. You have the Hierophant, the Star, and the Strength card. This goes beyond human understanding. To have something so faith-based, it's destined. The star is here. It's, it's, it's the absolute wish fulfillment. And it is something that is supported by God, by the divine. And you're being rewarded for this because of your strength. Your supernatural abilities has led you to this. So this person is coming in who has most likely taking a very long time to come in, they're now balancing spirituality and being practical. And it's leading to a union. They have to be intentional. This is your... Wow. <laughs> this is your justice. You've been trying to figure out how to balance things, how to temper things, how to balance 
life, love, career, finances, how to be human and spiritual. You're receiving justice, two of cups, four of wands. You and this person who have this contract together, you will celebrate a union and have not just a spiritual connection, but an actual conventional relationship this lifetime. So I just saw 33, 33. You have to do the work. Allow these messages to provide you with real warnings. I'm warning you now. You're going to experience attacks. You're going to feel down. You're going to feel tired. You're going to have dreams and have thoughts that are going to be very concerning. Your emotions are going to be all over the place. Let it, let it flow. Just let it flow. A lot of these emotions, depending on who you are in the connection, because I'm not sure if you're the one that's more awakened or this person, but a lot of you, based on the reading that I just saw, especially if you have this masculine that has been protecting you in the spirit realm, they're very strong. And you need to make sure that you and your vessel can actually hold the strength of this masculine. Because some of you are used to dealing with these karmic past life soulmates or these false twins. This true divine masculine that is watching you and has been watching you and protecting you, they're strong. They may even be stronger and more highly ranked than you in the spirit. And if you do not have that feminine energy where you're ready to receive, you're, it's going to be difficult. And those of you who have been on the journey, you know unions come in waves. Right now, it, it's a portal being open for actual unions. Don't let it pass you by because you're not in your feminine energy able to actually receive. You have to be able to receive this person. Again, forgiveness, grace, and mercy. If your spirit does not suggest that you are forgiving, that you have grace, mercy, and you're open to receive as a feminine should be, this masculine will not be able to choose you. You won't be able to hold that energy. Um, let's see. I want to find the... I have a um twin flame oracle here. It's a twin flame soulmate oracle. Man, I haven't used this in a long time. So cutting the deck, I see family and balance. And this card is yin. This is about yin and yang energy. Darkness and light. And it says stay centered in your higher self. Yeah, you're going to have to stay centered in your... This is you being prepared for a family as well. You know, you guys... Leave in the comments, should I start doing like twin flame love readings? Because I feel like that's what the energy is shifting to. Like the darker stuff is coming out, but most of the readings have been the attacks against like twins. And I can't control what comes out, but like, should I start doing more readings about this? I don't know. Let me know. I'm trying to make changes to the channel anyway. <laughs> so, um... I don't I, I can't respond to every comment you guys but I do read them and I really appreciate when you leave comments because just like if I throw out a date or a number or I make mention of some type of spirit or entity some of you guys you know exactly what it is when I'm getting messages I'm not able to always connect all of the dots when I'm getting downloads and channel messages during the reading um I'm there in real time just jumping through all kinds of hoops to just get the message. So your comments help and it, it helps you guys to help one another as well. But you're being balanced out because you are supposed to be creating a family with this person. So being the generational curse break and everything else, you know, you had to go out. And that's what I'm saying. This masculine had to be given the torch. He had to be given, like, the blessing of your ancestors. And the same with you. Wow, marriage. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I'm telling you, this is going to be an actual, like, legal, conventional partnership between two spiritual beings. This is not just, you know, oh, you know, we're connected, but there's no commitment. No, this is... Connection, chemistry, and commitment. Nourish, 
What did I say? Watch what you eat. Watch what you drink. Take care of yourself. Exercise. Take care of your body, your temple. Blessings are coming. Oh, this is good. You are protected. Your guides are with you. You have your home. Yeah. Make your house a home right now. Take care of your home, your physical home, your dwelling, as well as your temple, your body. You and this person are going to feel at home with each other. I feel like this, this fall, this winter is going to be one to remember for sure for a lot of you. Your person, for some of you, you're going to meet them, but you're quickly going to know like they feel like home. And some of you, your person's coming back home. Okay. Just depends on where you are. In your journey, some people are separated and some people, you know, you just haven't met your person yet. Split energy. See? Multitasking. Decide what you really want. The energy is split. But like I said before, you and this person, you're exchanging gifts. Your energies are going to be split. So you're going to have to stay in control, but release control issues. Okay? This is not a situation that you can control. Just like I was saying as you experience like ascension flu, you don't get to control when the headache comes and the medicine won't won't fix it either. You don't you're not gonna control this situation, but as a feminine, especially, that's a part of it is you learning how to surrender to God and be able to just receive. some love dicks masculine came out in fifth dimension see i told you your masculine is about to take the trip to the 5d so this is happening so that you and this person can connect at a soul level this person is like awakened to the connection but they're coming to get you they're they're seeking you out now they see you in the spiritual realm they're protecting you in the spiritual realm and now they're like, okay, I need to stay here in the 5D to get this nourishment, to, to get the torch, to be able to come to you and present an, an, an offer, okay? This person is, is being forced now to come out of their ego, and you're going to have to come out of your ego as well, okay? There, can, there can't be any jealousy or, or you feeling... See, the ego will make you feel like you need to control situations, because the ego is there to protect you when you're afraid. Some of you are afraid of love. Whether this is you meeting someone brand new and the love is going to make you uncomfortable because you associate love with trauma. Or it's someone from the past. You feel like they're going to let you down again. Again, that's why you have to nourish yourself and heal the inner child. Because if you've been neglected or abandoned in previous relationships or even with your own parents or something like that, those are the wounds that you're going to have to actually heal. Because if you don't, there is going to be a karmic tie between you and this person that doesn't need to be there. In these twin flame relationships, I'm not, nothing is perfect, but you really have to do the work to get rid of all that karma. This is not that karmic soulmate. You have your outcome. So yeah, there's something here is ending. It's separation. The separation is ending. But you and this person are definitely probably connected right now, like in the 5D, in your dreams, stuff like that. Some of you could have recently separated from someone. They're going to double back. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Some of you are going to also see um, deception. You're going to see things in the spiritual realm that this person has done or things that have been done to you or to this person. And it's going to be triggering. But you need to just release. Relax. Unwind. You can't have anxiety and doubts and fears. You're being asked right now, despite all of the confusion, while you're at the crossroads, you're going to have to learn how to really trust your intuition because now you're awakening. And your twin is awakening to this connection as well. So your beliefs, it can make or break you. It can either bring you closer together or tear you apart. I'm just going to get a few more of these. Ooh, yes. <laughs> yes. The answer to your question is yes. You have your transformation and destruction. So yeah, there's a breakthrough happening here. 
so that you can go to the next level. So there's unexpected changes, but they're bringing new opportunities. And the answer to your question is yes. And any type of deception is going to be healed. Okay. Deception also could, um, it doesn't always have to be something negative, you guys. Deception can also be you have someone that's madly in love with you and they're just not showing it. They're going to finally be able to come forward now. Okay. If someone is very superficial, they're going to come out of that. Any type of mask or illusions, this, this ending. But right now, just be gentle with yourself. Take time out for self-care and healing. And just allow this to naturally come to you. Yeah, solitude just came out. And perception. Yeah, you need to be in solitude. Because like I said, there's a lot of different things that are going to try to um, shift and change your, your perspective and your perception about things. You don't want to ignore red flags, but you also don't want to be like, don't be pessimistic. This is another reason too why you have to protect yourself from other people, especially people who may trigger your inner child wounds, okay? The type of people who don't want you to just live in the present. Let's say for instance, for some of you, if you know in your heart that you would like to reconnect with someone from your past, you don't need to hang around your friends and your family that's telling you that that person, they'll never change. You should never talk to them. If God is saying that you need to be forgiving of that person and has decided that that's your person, you don't need to, like, don't make, don't let other people make decisions for you. I'm not saying that some of their, their advice isn't valid. But this is a time for you to make this decision for yourself because you're being watched by, by God as well to see how you're going to move in this situation. So make sure that you're going within yourself, enjoying some, some solitude, some peace, some silence because you need to go within. Because for some of you too, you, you know, you're going to have more than one person coming at you. Some of you, you're needing to figure out who is your person because you may find yourself confused. And you don't want to fall into a situation because you are lonely or confused and it, it's the wrong situation. Or because you're listening to what other people are telling you about your situation. <laughs> don't do that. Get very clear about your life, your situation, and your person. This is a time for you to look beyond just what you see so that you can really tap into you know, the spirit realm of things. Like, what is the spiritual meaning of certain things that's happening to you and this person? No, I need some, I want some, some love cards. I have all these cards. I mean, I have a lot of cards, but I think for so long now, I've been trying to move away from just doing love only readings. Um, hmm. I don't know. But love is what's coming out, so I want some love cards. <laughs> Abundance. You've done the work. Abundance flows to you now. See, God is like, you, you did it. You made it. Apology. You can expect the apology you want to hear. True love. See, this is so positive. The, this love is emotional, physical, and unconditional. So for some of you, someone is coming back and they're going to apologize for um, just whoever this is. Someone, their soul may feel like it needs to apologize to you because it took them so long, even if it's a new person. You have stability. This relationship can stand the test of time. And this person is in your life to teach you a spiritual lesson here and now. It says your true love is already part of your life. Some of you, you have a person in your life. Okay, it's it's like three or four different scenarios. Some of you, you have a person from the past. 
and there may be a reconciliation. They may come back and, and they change, you change. Like they really don't want to miss out on this opportunity. You're going to have to be deciding to figure out if that's what you want to do if that person presents themselves. Some of you, you have a brand new person coming into your life, but you're so spiritually connected with this person that, um, yeah, it's like you have lessons to learn with this person, but I think that you both will probably be able to agree that, listen, you're like, hey, we've been having dreams about each other for 10 years. Like, where have you been? For some of you, you have a person that could be in your life already, and it could have been casual. This is someone that could have, you know, it could have been passionate. It could have been um, somewhat casual, but because there were still old wounds and childhood issues that you needed to deal with, you and this person had to retreat. This person could have been dealing with a past life love situation, you know, or karmic, and you could have as well. You and this person could have separated or just decided not to get too serious with each other because the way you and this person met, maybe it just wasn't, it wasn't in alignment with your morals and values. And so maybe once if you just accepted everything for what it was, now this could be a casual situation or a friendship that can actually go to the next level. But you were tested to make sure that you weren't willing to go along with things that you saw as red flags that weren't in alignment with what you wanted. So for some of you, you definitely have to separate from a person to heal some old wounds. Y'all, I know that there has to be, I want a love deck. I want to talk about some love, 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 love. I mean, the romance angel is okay, but like, I, I need some new, 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 you know? I want some new energy. I want some cards I haven't seen before. And I know I got plenty of them sitting right here that I haven't touched, but... I want decks that are specifically for love because I feel like we need to talk about love. I'm going to find a deck. Okay. Child, new beginnings. Something here is going to be brand new. You have the fool card, ooh, the bear card, which is um, representing like a boss, a CEO. Someone here could be in the legal field, could be a judge, an attorney. But there's something here brand new. It's, this energy is going to make you feel very creative. You're going to want to be really carefree and spontaneous. I feel like for some of you, you know, and money doesn't matter, but for a lot of you, you are going to have someone that comes into your life or back into your life. They are going to offer you a lot of stability and security. Okay, they could have that now to offer you or over time, they're just going to make sure that you're well taken care of. Um, oh, the, the Aries Emperor card here. And look, you have your head of the pack. So you could have with several different people. Wow. They are coming at you, but there's one here, the, the true Emperor. He's going to make sure you know who he is or she is. Yeah, this person is successful look at that lion this is someone very majestic you're gonna meet this person yeah it's time look at this the coffin card and the wheel of fortune there's a major shift change in look at this y'all transformation see spirit was like you need some cards but they told me to get these cards because this was the message look at that the sun and what does that say divine masculine i can't make it up this is like perfect. This divine masculine for some of you though could have felt cursed. Whether you know them or not, this is just a person who could have had to um, really take their time with coming towards you because maybe they felt cursed. You have your albatross. They could have felt cursed or like they had too much baggage or some kind of burden or they were carrying the burden of guilt about something. But there's going to be some type of ending here. Somebody could go through a breakup. Okay. This person may have had to, or this could be you, you and or your person, had to work on self-esteem, taking pride in themselves, but not being in their ego. So something here is, is destined to happen and it's coming in now. 
whoever this person is that's been hiding themselves, their feelings, their true identity, if it's a secret admirer or something like that, that's coming to an end. Yeah. You have the Falcon card in here, which is about rising above things. That's also the third eye. A transition here. So with it falling on top of the coffin here, again, this is a spiritual awakening that's happening. Stallion, you're breaking free. This man is breaking free. Look, the man is a stallion. He's breaking free. This person has very strong emotions. And this is someone here who could have been in the energy of the fox before. You know, very cunning, deceitful. Very much interested in themselves. Conceited. <laughs> arrogant. This for some of you, this for some of you, you're just dealing with someone who's very established. Um, like I said, they they could even be doing well for themselves financially. They have some kind of power and or authority, and just their way of, of seeing things and doing things just wasn't in alignment with you. But it looks like something here is changing. Something is going to happen that's going to force this person to release a lot of emotions. And, and I have to be honest, this could even be something tragic. It's going to force this person to really just let it all out. They need to release. I'm hearing waiting to exhale. This person has been waiting to exhale, or this could be you. Telepathy is here. Snowflake, perfect. Something here, you feel like something is perfect. But this is a person who also, you and this person are going to have to handle each other with care. It's a gentle giant here. And although this is like a um a, a parent elephant and a child, I feel like you and this person <laughs> you and this person may have almost like a parent child dynamic. One of you is probably um like I said a bit more spiritually awakened than the other. And that's no problem at all. It's just one one of you has, has a really big energy. And then you have for the woman and the justice card. Yeah, um, Justice reminds me of Libra. The woman reminds me, of course, of like Divine Feminine. The Empress card represents Libra and Taurus. But for some of you, this person, you know, is very... Dip I don't know. I'm, I'm picking up this person's personality right now. They could be very, like, diplomatic. Um, they could come off as detached, like, very matter-of-fact type of energy. But this person could be a dreamer. They're, you know, they're intuitive. They may seem a little cold and detached, but they, they definitely have a sweet spot for you. They will always handle you with care. This person honestly could be mean to a lot of people. <laughs> this isn't a mean person. I mean, they just they just come off as detached. Very, like, refined. You know, militant. This is the energy that I've been getting, that King of Swords energy. Like, they don't play. This person, you know, they just don't play around. But with you, I feel like this person, this card even says gentle, and it's a huge elephant. This this person carries a big energy, but they're gentle. They know that they have to handle you with care. You're very unique to this person. Yeah, it's a complicated situation, though. Something here is puzzling. When people see you on this person, they're going to be like, what in the world? Like, how did they come together? <laughs> so it could be a, a, a difference in um, age, race, background, height, weight, something. You and this person. Saturn. Look at that. That's the world. And then here you have the ring. Diamond ring. Butterfly metamorphosis. Yeah. Be open. Your soul is evolving. So this person is going to come in making a promise, a proposal. Wanting to take things to the next level. This is coming in as your justice, though. Justice here with Saturn and the world. This, this is your karmic justice. It's like you, you, you completed something. So now you get a stable, steady, secure relationship with the person of your dreams. You get clarity about this. And then here's the tower. Yeah, the other tower is bringing clarity. And you're getting a good person who has strong values because the church is there with the man. This person has strong 
values. They believe in family. This is someone who is tapped into the collective consciousness. Like they're traditional. Like I said, this person could be a little bit militant, like diplomatic. They're traditional. They they believe in family. They they could be religious or spiritual, but they believe that a family should be successful, and therefore they they know to handle you with care. They want to make sure that there's unconditional love. So if there was a third party in the situation, and I feel like for some of you there was. And if this is someone brand new, they could, you know, have just come out of a relationship, but they learned a lot about it. You have Gemini and the third, the um, lover's card. This person here is realizing that they can't actually allow themselves to be influenced by other people's thoughts, feelings, and emotions. They can't go out and be in third party situations. They know they can't put you in a third party situation or anything like that. This is someone who may have to relocate to be with you or they may ask you to relocate. But whatever this, whatever shifts or changes comes with this person, you can depend on them. Like they're they're being real and true. But you and this person, like, you're gonna have to make some decisions. So yeah, you may have to make some decisions. Um, I'm hearing I just heard living arrangements for sure. So this person may live at a distance. I don't know if they want you to move to where they are, you move to where they are, or this person may just feel like the two of you need to quickly move in together or something like that. Something about your living arrangements. Oh, this person, y'all, I'm whoever this person is, they keep coming up in the readings. This person may be in the military or they work for the government or something. Because a tower card is here. And this literally says government hierarchy. And here is a justice card. Okay. This also could be someone here. Their job may be very demanding. And they're realizing that they can't allow their job to always influence their relationships. Or they could have an overbearing like mother or something like that. But with this on a quest here, geese, this person may travel a lot for work or something. So I don't know if, if it's a situation of them traveling a lot for work or something, they really may ask you, like, do you just want to move in with them? It's something here about time and also, yeah, like challenging the status quo for, I don't know, this, this, for some of you, this person could be kind of like high status or something. I'm not talking about like a celebrity, but they could be high ranking in the military or they could be a, a like director level at their job or something. Like, this person is established. This this energy I'm picking up, they're established or you are. Yeah, and here you have compass. I just split the deck and I see eagle and compass. So there's something here for sure about travel. The compass is discovery, life path. Finding your way, making, you know, making a plan. And then I cut the deck again and the owl card is here. So this is someone who's very wise. They can see through the facade and look at that. Boom, bam. The swans, soulmate, twin flame, deep soul connection. And behind it, it says the process of arrival, stepping stones, baby steps, the sun. Ooh. So you and this person may have a child together. Look, that's the lady with a baby, the son. You may have, it could be a daughter, but you and this person definitely could have a son together. And if it's not an actual child, um, just a baby, um, a business or something that's going to bring about a lot of fulfillment and stability, some type of creative endeavor or something. Okay. Um, this is good. This is good. Um, can y'all make suggestions of like love cards? I just, I mean, I thought that I had lo lovey cards. I mean, I want some cards that, you know, are real sweet. Oh, this is the power of love, I think. Power of love. I'm just not feeling the spirit saying no. So I was looking for some type of, oh, you know what? I have something because I want us to get us a good love card. The whispers of love. Man, I haven't touched these cards in almost a year. See, we need love, right? Love has been missing. 
You have new love and choose love when I cut the deck. It says embracing opportunity for love in your work, prospects, or for spiritual growth. So like I said, for some people, you may watch this and you're like, I'm not interested in a relationship. That's fine. So find love in yourself, your spiritual growth, or whatever you do for work. It says here, choose love. You always have a choice. Make yours with love. So let's pull a, quick, a few of these and then um, we'll be done. Y'all better make sure that y'all are eating right, sleeping good, staying hydrated, cleaning up your house. Okay. Because this person is coming in. I can feel it. They are coming in. It's going to blow your mind. Spirit just told me to pull from this card this day before I use those. Uh, Spirit has been real bossy with me lately. <laughs> it's okay. I like it. It's like, no, do this. Do that. <laughs> pull this. Pull that. I'm like, okay. <laughs> okay. Last quarter moon in Aries. It says, work through your feelings. First quarter moon in Scorpio, release your blocks. And look at this, new moon in Scorpio, go deeper. We are in Scorpio season. And keep your heart open. First quarter moon in Libra, well, we just came out of Libra season. But this this energy of this masculine, for some of you, this, this person could be a Libra or they may have Libra highly aspected in their chart. This person, they bring karmic justice. And if this person isn't like in, a, in the legal field or something like that here in the 3D, in the spirit realm, they are not to be played with. In spirit realm, they're like a soldier. Seriously. And you have new moon in Aries. It says just go for it. Okay. Spirit wanted me to say that. So Libra, Scorpio, and Aries is significant. You can have that highly aspected in your chart or this person could. I'm hearing spirit say too, this person could have these signs as North Node or a rising sign. So you could connect with someone who has um what is it? They could have one of these as their they're saying specifically if you're the type of person you look at someone's natal chart, you may not find what you're looking for by looking at their sun, moon. Rising, there's look at their north node as well because this is about your purpose. Your north node is gonna tell you more about like your your life, your soul purpose. So this person could have Aries like North Node, Aries obviously the divine masculine, the emperor. Okay, so they could be very masculine, very assertive, very outgoing and ambitious. But then you have here Libra. So again, this person here, you know, they could believe in justice, okay. And then you have Scorpio. It can be very spiritual, very like mystical, mysterious, like some of you. So this is air, water, fire. A good combination. Hmm. The energy of gaining momentum. The end of tough cycles approaches Capricorn. You're very close to achieving your goal. Okay. So by Capricorn season, which is right around the corner um, in December, you know, like I said, in the next 10 weeks or so, things are going to be very good for you, I feel. Yeah. And you just remember, you are good enough. Wow. It says conclusions are within reach. Full moon eclipse and your commitment is being tested. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, nothing is yet set in stone. Communication is key. Don't let your past hold you back south, no. That's why I'm saying for you guys, prosperity it lies ahead for you. Don't let this, um, whatever this wonky type of energy is that's about to come in, because I can feel it. Don't let that knock you off your square, okay? Stay very grounded. So now I'm going to get um, the whispers of love and then I'll be done, seriously. It's somebody who must watch my readings today who's like, no, 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 keep going, keep going. Because every single time I say I'm done, I'm being told to pull something else. I don't know. And th this is the second reading that this has happened in 
where it's like, no, 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 pull more, pull more. <laughs> like, I can hear it. No, pull more, pull more. For some reason, they want me to pull these last. But I'm being told this, um, the romance, like, a spin on romance angles. Watch out. See, this is, wow. Didn't I say that? See, I said that. I just said, watch out. Do not let these energies get you. This card literally says, this is a warning message. Be aware of gossip, envy, and jealousy. Someone or something is trying to stand in the way of this connection. Wow, that's crazy. I'm like, why do you keep telling me to pull more cards? <laughs> Confirmation. Forgive and heal. As you forgive and heal, your love life becomes brighter and healthier. Third party. See, the reading before this, I told you these entities and karmics are about to go crazy. Yeah, third party. There is something or someone that is affecting your relationship. It's time to address it. Yeah. For some of you, those friends and family members that's telling you what you need to do and why you should do it and this and that, you need to focus on your own forgiveness and healing and stop telling these people your business and allowing them to tell you how you need to navigate in your life, okay? That's for some of you. For some of you, you definitely have um, a friend or a, a parent or someone in your life. They talk too much. You're ready for love. And this doesn't even have to be related to someone in your life. This could be the kind of person that talks to you negatively about their own relationship. Be careful of listening to that because it will come. If you guys notice lately in social media, every single day, it's like every celebrity couple that you can imagine is filing for divorce, right? Those things are distractions because we're moving into this time where twins are coming together. This, the, the, be careful. I'm telling you, it's a distraction because you will find yourself thinking, what's the point in getting married? What's the point in wanting to be in love? Because of what you're seeing and hearing in the media and with the people around you. That's why it's so. It's a warning here. Be careful. Do not let this interference deter you from going towards love if you know that's what you truly deserve and what you truly desire. You're ready for love. You're ready for your harvest. You planted the seed. So the universe is coming in to, to give you what, you what you wanted, what you manifested, what you prayed for. You've been patient. So don't be afraid now to allow someone to come in and emotionally support you and give you a bit of clarity. May allow you to feel happy and free. Yeah, just, it's a strong warning out here. People gonna try to tell you all kinds of stuff. They lying. Especially those of you who might connect with someone and they're different from your usual type and expectations. People are like, why do you want to be with that person? None of your business. Why are you still single? Or why are you unhappily married? Ooh. Let people live and love how they want to. Yeah, look at that. Give your relationship a chance. You work on your partnership the way you want to. A reconciliation. I'm somebody is a hater. Somebody does not want you to connect with either someone from your past or a new connection with someone from a past life. I'm telling you, it's a blockage out here. It's a karmic religious factors. Yeah, you and someone, your religious past could be a little bit different. Like I said, one of you could be more awakened than the other. You could have been raised differently, but whoever this is, they're worth waiting for. So let go of the control issues or they feel like you're worth waiting for. It says here, it is safe for you to love. Exactly. People who are in unrequited love situations are going to try to convince you that this is not something that you should do. Don't even tell them about it. I just feel like right now, a lot of people really need to just guard and protect their heart, their home. <laughs> relationships, finances, keep your ideas to yourself. Because I'm telling you, people, they smiling in your face and, and waiting to stab you in your back. It says here, do something for someone. Give your attention to another. Yeah, folk, maybe this is the time for some of you to go do some charity or something. Focus on something that was going to bring you peace and allow you to um, express like, Tender, loving, care, and affection or gratitude so that the universe will continue to keep that flow coming to you. The easiest way for you to get something is to give it. Spend quality time together. It says listen and talk to each other. Yeah, so maybe this person wants to give you a gift or you're going to give them a gift. 
Honesty is essential. Speak with love and truth. And look at this man here. He's got that mask on his face. Like I said, for some of you, you have a person that is they do a really good job of concealing how they feel. That's all about to change. It says here, take a chance on love. When we love, our lives are changed forever. That's why people don't want you to be in love. Because they don't want your life to change. They want you to stay stuck with them. Rest and relaxation is essential. We all have a fundamental need to take a break. What did I tell y'all earlier? Rest. You're being charged up for something. Treasure your loved ones. It is important to love others deeply. So, you know, some of you, you may be healing family issues, and that's fine. But if you feel like you need to um, love some people from afar, that's fine too. But be willing to express love, express love to receive love. Didn't I just say the, the best way to get something is by first giving it? Some of you, you need to mend relationships with your family because by healing family issues, it's going to open you up more to new love. So you can have relationships in your family, um, those childhood issues or wounds that, that need revisiting that you need to deal with. Okay, but when it just comes to these toxic people around you, really shield yourself from that. It says, loving words have the power to change lives, including your own. Speak the language of love. Yeah. And be supportive. Make the genuine effort to show that you care. Receive with love and appreciation. Just choose love. Yeah. So this was good, y'all. Um, I didn't really know what to expect, but Spirit just kept saying, in my ear, exchanging gifts, exchanging gifts. And I was like, okay, I said that in the reading. What about it? So, I guess you guys are, like I said, about to exchange gifts with the love of your life. Treasure Island, milk and honey. So, their spiritual gifts will be your spiritual gifts. And what's yours is mine and mine is yours, I guess. Chop wood. Just focus on the day-to-day. -day. I just want to see what's... The exchange and gifts card gonna come out. Let's see. All these cards just fell out. <laughs> I wanted to see what the exchange and gifts gonna come out and look at what flipped out. Imagine and exchange and gifts. Continue imagining and manifestate manifesting this exchange. You have a leg up, orphan. Remember, people want you to be left out in the cold, but you have here and now. Here and now, right now, you are blessed. Don't don't go back to the past. Yeah, this is being done by the book. This is that ascension and the upgrades. It's being done by the book. This is also, like I said, you and someone come together, you have integrity. You want to do things in a certain way. It has to be in divine order and in divine timing. Be careful because people going to watch you. And when it comes to your 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 luck, your fate, your blessings, they're going to try to tell you it's not for you. Mm -mm. So that you will change courses in your life. You have to trust in your own higher power. All right. I'm getting out of here for real, y'all.